So, inline hook versus treble hook when it comes to tra trout fishing. I strong I, I I strongly prefer the the inline hooks when it co when it comes to to trout fishing for lots of reasons. So I'll I'll, I'll go through them all. Uh, we'll start we'll start with the the like the e easiest point is uh, you landed a fish. Uh, you've got an inline hook in much faster to to take the hook out. Uh, if if you're fishing. If you're fishing to catch and cook, uh, it doesn't that doesn't really matter. You can spend all day taking the hooks out if you want. Uh, you you're gonna eat that fish anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But if catch and release, you want to get the fish back in the water fast. Uh, single in inline hook a lot better. No no messing around, no faffing around. Just take, just unhook it. Back in the water it goes. Uh, we've got similar size. Uh, treble hook to this inline hook I've uh, swapped out here so uh, you can see the, they're about the same size uh, the inline hook in most cases will have more hooking power than the treble hook uh, if you just if you hook a fish with just 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 one one hook on the treble hook versus uh, the inline hook you'll have roughly about twice the amount of hooking power uh, the 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 radius on the inline hook is 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 twice is twice twice as much as on the on the treble hook of course you can you can hook with with two two hook points on the treble hook and it'll it'll give you as much strength but uh, generally speaking when it comes to trout they fight hard uh, there's a lot ch lot less chance of you losing that fish once it's hooked on an inline hook versus the treble it's a lot nicer for the for the fish as well uh, even if you even if you are uh, catch and cook or if you catch and release it's still a better hook uh, for the fish when you when you um, when you're fishing the problem with treble hooks is is but you can uh, you can hook it in the lower jaw and the upper jaw and if you do that and your line snaps or something happens you lose that fish it's still got the the lure in its mouth uh, it won't be able to feed that 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 fish will die uh, it won't be able to open its mouth because it's got one in the upper and one in the lower and pretty much that that fish will just go away and starve to death and yeah it'll have a, a, a miserable a miserable week of not feeding before it dies and another another positive point to um, inline hooks is uh, the action of lure you get better action uh, with lure uh, this has a lot lot less water resistance uh, compared to a treble hook uh, the the action will be a be a lot better well I can't say a lot better but it'll be better It'll be better. I'm over exaggerating. That's saying it'll be a lot better, but it, 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 generally speaking, it, it will give you better. It'll give you better action. Uh, inline hooks they they come in a variety of sizes, brands, uh, barbless, with barbs, uh, black, uh, silver coloured, chrome coloured. Um, they've they've got them all. Uh, I mean, here in Europe. Uh, inline hooks they're not super popular so I, I just I just get what I can get hold of uh, it's not a matter of I can pick and choose between brands and stuff like that it's just what is what I can get hold of basically uh, I know in America they're, they're a lot more popular uh, and they have a lot more brands sell, selling them than we do here in uh, in in Europe For trout, I always uh, I always remove uh, the middle hook as well. I don't really see any point in having the middle hook. Uh, if a fish, if a, if trout grabs it from the side, you yank to set the hook. It's still going to set the hook. <clears throat> uh, the the middle one, 
all it tends to do is the, the fish will be stuck on the on the back hook uh, this one will swing around and hook it either in the either in the eye or in the gills or in its back or something like that and it just makes it a, a real mess uh, again if you if you catch catch and cook then that doesn't really matter uh, but if you catch and release then better to remove the 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 middle hook it's it, it it's not needed it's not needed on on these small small lures uh, i change i change it on 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 most of my lures i change the 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 treble hook uh, even on spinners uh, some lures don't work very well with inline hooks or don't work at all uh, like the the blade baits they don't work very well with uh, inline hooks so keep the trebles on them uh, some snap beans uh, don't work very well either see if I can find one what doesn't there we go uh, the snap bean lures what have have the uh, hook fastening point if you if you can call it that uh, when it when it's not at, right at the back and it's it's moved in towards the body like that uh, you'd need probably uh, an extra extra long uh, inline hook I've never found any uh, and yeah it's so these ones are not very effective uh, with an inline hook if it's like that if it's right at the back like this snap bean then that inline hook will work perfect uh, and like these these uh, these small snap beans it's much much better if you can have a an inline hook on it because usually the trebles what what come with these these smaller uh, snap beans the the quite the quite small treble hooks and they're quite weak uh, they bend straight very easily uh, when it comes to trout fishing you can get a big trout on on a, on a snap bean uh, lure and uh, if you do uh, usually it's it, it, it's gonna it's gonna be, what is it it's gonna bend that treble hook straight and you'll lose the fish where uh, a single inline hook uh, I think that's a size eight. No problems at all uh, bringing in a big, big trout uh, with that size uh, hook. Uh, another thing, why inlines are better? Way less chance of snagging. When you're so-called ultralight fishing for trout, you're using uh, small lures and stuff like that. You 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 be on the riverbanks trying to to find where the where these trout are hiding summertime it's, they don't like being in the sun and stuff like that so they're usually hi hidden under overhanging trees and stuff like that then a, a, an inline hook oh it, it, it's so much better than a tre treble uh, you, you you'll hardly ever get snagged with a inline hook versus a treble a treble will, uh, yeah it'll, it'll grab a little branch uh, so easily uh, <clears throat> You won't be catching as much weed either with an inline hook because the the point the point is facing upwards instead of uh, a treble. What's pointing both upwards and downwards, and uh, you getting getting snagged on weed all the time. It's picking weed up. You you you're wasting casts. So the the inline hook makes you 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 you're fishing uh, a lot more of efficient. Uh, you you you're not going to collect as much weed on a on a inline hook versus the treble much 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 better i think uh, in, in inline hooks in general for both if you are uh, catch and cook i i'd still go with a inline hook well i do uh, when i when i go and uh, for catch and cook fishing i still use uh, inlines uh, like i say w when the hook is set you, a lot less chance of you losing it on the uh, on an inline hook than uh, than a treble. Uh, so uh, you don't need much uh, to change the hooks. All you need a pair of split ring pliers like this. Uh, 
these are just cheaper, so they, yeah, they work. They work fine. They're not. They're not super expensive or anything like that. You don't. You don't need them. You could do it with your fingernail, but it's a little bit messy and faffy. So uh, I'd I'd recommend uh, picking up a pair of split rim pliers. You can yeah, you can get them on eBay for as yeah, I don't know f fiver or something like that. Uh, lots of lots lots of different sizes. A couple of brands. Uh, I think my main source for inline hooks is uh, eBay. Again, you can get barbless ones. Uh, you can get them with barbs. It's totally up up to you what you what you what you prefer in hooks but yeah in, inline hooks positives uh, less snagging uh, you unhook the fish a lot faster the, the uh, action is better and uh, most of the time a bit more hooking power and uh, of course uh, nicer nicer to the fish when uh, you're hooking them with a uh, with a uh, single hook rather than a treble hook uh, why uh, i mean it's 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 out there but uh, about inline hooks now a lot of people do use uh, inline hooks versus the the treble hooks treble hooks uh, i don't know they, they feel a bit outdated especially when it comes to to trout fishing uh, when it comes to trout fishing i'd definitely go with a uh, inline hook uh, why they don't? Uh, why you don't have the option to either buy the lure with uh, trebles or inline hooks? I I don't know. The the, the manufacturers seem to be still stuck on uh, on treble. Hopefully in the future, more people start using inlines. Uh, manufacturers um, will uh, change and sell them. So you sell them with inline hooks, or so you have the option of either using trebles or or, uh, or inlines. Uh, for me, I prefer inlines. Uh, I prefer them. Uh, I think they're superior to the to the to the treble hook when it comes to when it comes to uh, trout fishing. Uh, have a lot more success on them. The the not half as messy when unhooking and like I say, uh, uh, trebles are just a bit nasty for for trout. But if you catch them cooking it's not needed you you will but again you, you'll you'll save a lot more lures uh, especially if you if you're fishing like uh, you know close quarters uh, you there's overhanging trees and things you can snag on and stuff like that a lot less chance of uh, snagging versus the the treble hook uh, like I say some lures don't work very well with uh, with with uh, in line so uh, check that first uh, like I said usually the spin blades uh, not the spin blades the blade baits they don't work very well with treble uh, with inlines uh, the snap beans where the where the hook hooking point is uh, not at the end of the tail and it's more more down under the body they don't work very well either because like I said before you'd need like an extra length one and the hook would be uh, facing the wrong way it'd be facing facing downwards instead of upwards and uh, that's not going to help you with uh, collecting weed and stuff like that you'd be collecting weed if you did that so uh, what you can do with the snap bean lures if uh, you can cut you can cut the top treble off so you've only got two could cut that one off right there and then you've got two uh you've got two hooks instead of uh of one and both of them are pointing downwards so a lot less chance of you uh hooking the, the upper and the, the lower jaw and uh i mean it's not fun to to hook a trout in the upper and lower jaw and then your line snaps and it, it can't eat you know the, that's pretty miserable to die of starvation so uh, yeah it, generally uh, generally speaking as well inline hooks uh, use a bit thicker gauge uh, steel wire as well compared to that so they're, they're usually usually a lot stronger uh, that's that's very you know general of course there is uh, 
different gauge wire on the, the trebles as well but generally speaking it's a heavier gauge uh, wire they uh, they use and um, you uh, it'll be stronger uh, you can use normal uh, normal uh, single hooks you can use them uh, you have to get the open die ones uh, I don't have any so I can't really show you but I can show you the principle is uh, you bend open the eye and you attach it straight to the hook hook eyelet there and you skip skip the you skip the split ring and then it'll be it'll be facing the right way because if you put um, if you put a normal uh, single fishing hook on it would be to the side like that these are called inlines because the 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 hook eye is in line with the hook usually it's twisted 90 degrees but you can do that and that's a cheaper option not but inlines are very expensive I think a 10 pack is about four or five pounds so it's not that much and uh, another benefit is not really a benefit but is a little bit is uh, instead of having uh, three hook points to sharpen you only have one so it goes a lot faster if you stood at the side of the bank here you, you feel <coughs> you've hit a rock or something like that and you've blunted your point you can just sharpen it up real quick and it'll be uh, as good as new I hope this video uh, Hope this video helped you. Uh, that's those are the reasons why I use uh, inlines uh, versus the the trebles. I think the trebles are a, a little bit outdated today, and uh, I think uh, manufacturers should at least give us the option to buy them with uh, those with inlines or or trebles, and it would s save us a cup save a, save us a couple of pennies. Uh, you're gonna have to change your 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 trebles someday anyway. They don't last forever, do they? They tend to they they start rusting or they'll be <clears throat> they'll be past that point where they can be sharpened again, and then it'd be a good option to 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 change them to in in lines if you if you don't feel like spending uh, spending the money when you when you've just bought a brand new lure to swap out the hooks. I do it usually straight away. If it's brand new lure I've never never tried before, I always try it with the original hooks and then put inline hooks on it uh, just to com just to compare, to see how the lure was working, you know, from the beginning with the original hooks. So I try that first. <clears throat> um, most of the time, I'll fish with uh, with inline hooks. Uh, it's just just better in my my opinion but again that's just my opinion uh, search for some U YouTube videos uh, trebles versus uh, inlines maybe some other people have a different opinion on them on on this matter but for me I'd always go with uh, inline if I, when I can uh, in general I think there's more positive points than negative points over the trebles uh, and it saved me so many lures you don't get as snagged as easy uh, so yep in lines the trout definitely for me hope this video helped see you in the next tackle talk